Australia have been here two two days. Today is the day I'm not feeling very well. Uh, here I am at the uh, 90 mile straight. Australia's longest straight road. Hello. Uh, welcome to New South Wales. I've been pushing on, I've been feeling pretty good. This is climb up to Kangaroo Valley. I don't mind you seeing me suffer. Brisbane, finally, thought it was never going to happen. Uh, just ridden across Australia. A little bit tired now. I'm going to see if I can get a flight and then I'm going to go sleep for a very long time. All right, so this is my bike. Uh, it's time to get going. Uh, that completes South Island in 57 and a half hours. This is the Cook Strait. Good morning. There's worse views in the world to wake up to. Oh, this is Auckland Airport. What day is it? Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. Uh, so that completes New Zealand. Feeling good, feeling strong. Feeling really strong. In, uh, Vancouver Airport, wait, just waiting for my bag to come off the uh, bike to come off the aircraft. Well, that's Richmond there, just behind me and behind that, Vancouver. Now in California. Amazing there. Really cool. I was determined to ride across the bridge, and that's where I am. This is uh, our ascent into Death Valley coming up. That climb was a monster. Mike Hall arrives home after circumnavigating the globe by bicycle. And not only that, he completed the gruelling journey on his 31st birthday. He made the epic trip in just 92 days, beating the previous record holder by nearly two weeks. The engineer, who averaged around 200 miles a day, also beat nine other competitors in the race by several days as he crossed the finish line at Greenwich Royal Observatory in southeast London.